Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today, I wanted to show you guys how I make my yarn balls. I've had a few people ask me from seeing them in videos how I wind floppy <laughs> um, skeins into yarn balls. And um, I don't really know how I learned it. I think my mom taught me. But uh, I'm going to move the camera to where you can see it. <laughs> and I'm going to try to show it to you and hopefully I don't mess it up. <laughs> it's pretty easy though. But all you need is a floppy skein in your hands. So let's get into it. Okay, so I have my floppy skein here. This is actually Red Heart Super Saver Stripes Retro Stripes, which is a pretty color. I love it. <laughs> and all I do is I start with my tail end and I kind of wrap it around my fingers, my two fingers, a few times just to get like a little clump of yarn. And I pull it off and I squish it. <laughs> and then I wrap it around uh, kind of like a bow. And then the bow, I kind I bend into half and I start wrapping. I wrap uh, f like four or five, six times, and then I turn it. And then I wrap four or five, six times, I turn. <laughs> so with my right hand, I'm wrapping a few times, and with my left hand, I just kind of turn it. Just like a quarter of the way. And that starts forming the little yarn ball. And then I just keep doing that. And then every now and then, I will kind of move the whole yarn ball so that I'm going in a slightly different direction just so that it doesn't all fall apart at once. So I just wrap like four or five, six times, turn. <laughs> and then uh, as you get used to the movement, you can speed it up really fast and I'll just sit there kind of doing this. Like I said, I'll, I'll be turning it like counterclockwise and then I'll just eventually turn it because see how it's kind of shaped weird right there? I don't know if, if that's coming through, <laughs> but I will start winding it the opposite direction. And then I turn. So just wrap a little bit and turn. And then, you know, you just keep doing that over and over and over until your skein is gone. I don't know if that's a good tutorial. <laughs> I'm trying. But it's, uh, it's the way I've always done it. And they usually come out tight, which is what I like. I don't pull it too tight because it'll stretch the yarn. But um, I like them kind of tight. And then when you're using the yarn, when you pull from it, it just kind of twists around. That's why yarn bowls are good things. See how it's just, it just comes off. And if you have this in a yarn bowl or a cup or even a box, because before I got yarn bowls, I used boxes and things. Or if I set cro like crisscross, <laughs> I would put it like in between my legs. Sometimes I just throw it in the floor and let it roll around all over the floor. That's it. You just kind of keep it moving a little bit with your left hand. Or, you know, if you're opposite handed. <laughs> and just wind a few times and then move it. Wind a few times and then move it. Eventually, if you keep going in the same directions, it'll get kind of pointy. So that's when I kind of shift the ball just slightly. So that it's winding different directions. And that's all I do. I hope this is a good tutorial. <laughs> and I'll have a good um, setup for filming things from weird angles. But this is how I wind my yarn balls. It's easy to see how I do it when I'm using multicolor yarn because you can see the different layers. And see how it's kind of getting pointy at the sides? That's when I would shift it. See, I was winding this way, so I would shift the yarn ball and wind this way. That's why it gives it the ball shape instead of like a weird pointy lemon shape. And then after doing that, I would turn it again and start winding a different direction. I'm not going to lie, this does hurt your forearms <laughs> after a little while. But, um, you know, you can wind it as much as you can and then wait and finish it off. But this is a pretty, it was about half used uh, skein, so it shouldn't take too long to wind it up. But that's all I do, is just kind of wind it and shift it and wind it and shift it. <laughs> There's no special technique. I guess this is how most people make yarn balls. I don't know. <laughs> I had a ball winder, but I did not like it. It was like a cheap one. And it never worked right. And the cakes always seemed to be really loose and would um, like not keep their shape. So I just went back to doing it by hand. You can see with the different colors that I, you know, I'm making like stripes, kind of. <laughs> and then I'll just keep on going until the whole skein is used up. And 
And that's about it. Nothing fancy. I hope this helps to people who asked. <laughs> I'm not the best person at explaining things. But, um, yeah. I've almost got it all. I'm going to keep on going until I finish it. This is such a pretty yarn. I made a hat with half of this skein. So now I've got this other half that I'll probably use in a amigurumi or a scrap project. Then after I get it all wound up, I would normally put a hair clip on it. I just don't have one in here with me right now. But I have some on my craft cart. So I would just kind of, I would take the yarn tail and glob it with some of the other yarn. And then put a little clip in there and it would help keep the end secure so that it's not unraveling in my yarn bucket. But that's how I make my yarn balls. <laughs> I hope that was helpful. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, if not, I'll try to make another video that is a little bit better angled. I'm just, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a professional, but that's okay. <laughs> I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.